Hey, hi, hello. There it is. Okay. Um, we're waiting for soup to cook. I forgot to hit upload on that video from a couple of days ago. I just did it now. So it's just been sitting there on YouTube like, I'm uploaded, please publish me. Whoops. Um, yeah, you can't really set this. So the windows are behind me, right? And it's like really hard to tell what I actually look like sometimes. But I'm having a good hair day as someone with curly hair. It's not super frizzy. It's actually soft. Not bad. It's not bad. Especially since lately I've been doing a lot of like straightening it. Right? Because it can be exhausting sometimes having to keep up with it. But it looks good today. Anyway. Um. It's time to play. It's Friday. We need to just chill out a little bit. I can't tell if this is an okay thing or not. I can tell this, the whole light thing is eventually going to give me a headache. But okay, now we're not really focused, huh? My camera has a built-in like ring light on it. And I've always thought it was just a little harsh. I've never had an optimal lighting situation, I will say, because the way that we have to situate this room, just due to like where the hookups for the TV are and everything, like it has to be oriented this way. And there's not enough space over there for my desk. So I like, I've never had good lighting because that's the front door right there. And then like a hallway closet, it's like our coat closet in our front door. So lighting's just always been a little bit of an issue. And this just makes me look very shiny, doesn't it? I don't know. One day if I care enough, I'll figure it out. <laughs> That's just really bright. Now see, that looks weird after seeing like a normal white light right there, doesn't it? It looks really blue. It's because I have, um, just to have like, little lights hanging up and some of them are blue and so it makes this entire room look blue sometimes. Should we try it with the light on today? I have no idea how long I was just muted. I think I accidentally tapped it, but I did just accidentally mute myself. Um, stale not Pringles. The soup's taking a really long time to cook. Okay. Yeah. Stale is correct. They don't taste bad. They're actually like the Pringle alternative that tastes the most like Pringles. It's the good crisp. They're good. They have a couple other. What was the one I really like? There's another one I really like. I think they do some like salt and vinegar chips that I really like. I'm so paranoid about accidentally going to sleep again. Wow. Did you see that lag? Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, what is happening? I know that's not my computer, is it? It's got to be a joke. The way that just lagged was 
terrifying. So we're going to prepare ourselves for the worst today. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's do a little bit of inventory management. Um, first... Okay, so how OCD are we going to be about it? Because I think we're going to sort by quality. Uh... No. So it's numerically first stop, second stop, and then quality... sell that I don't <laughs> I told y'all like my nightmare was watching that don't starve run see this is just I'm not a big human being okay like I'm I'm very normal I'm very normal and you can't get your hand down in there <laughs> it actually hurts Having to contort your hand to get down in there. I've eaten one shit before this. I also didn't eat lunch again because I'm medicated. This is also why I'm probably really snacky right now. My medication's wearing off. You know what? That might be why I went on that three minute lighting spiel a minute ago. It has also come to my attention that having to create and be active on a social media account is going to be a must for me. Um, if I want in my book to do well when it comes out. And I'm just not super thrilled about the idea of that. And so I've been sitting here like, well, okay, so I had to figure out <clears throat> what my brand is. Which is just fairly simple because at the end of the day, my brand is me, right? Like, I'm a writer. And so, the only thing I ever really had to start selling is a book at some point, right? It's a lot of eggs. Um, but to do that, you have to have a community. And oftentimes, to get a book deal, you also have to have a following because traditional publishing doesn't really do marketing for you anymore like you will still be responsible even if you are signed by one of the big five publishing houses um you are still responsible for your own marketing which means you gotta have a place to do that and i'm a human being why did i do that i'm a human being that scrolls you know exclusively because the idea of having to on a daily basis <coughs> maintain a social media account is abhorrent to me and I think it's a nightmare but it's unfortunately a necessary evil for this industry and I have to accept that so I've been sitting around all day like okay well what would what would my handle be I don't know I don't know. How am I supposed to know? You know? 
Like, how am I supposed to know that it's going to be good enough? So we'll do fermented goat cheese wheel next. Heck, how, how, how am I supposed to know that? What's going to be, like, catchy or trendy or... I don't know. How are you supposed to know that? It seems very arbitrary to someone like me. And then the whole marketing thing on top of it. You've seen how I do these videos. There is very little about these videos that's professional. Including my demeanor most of the time. Oh my god, I'd turn up here during snack time and eat on camera. Every video, I think. Because it's like I finally have time to sit down during the day. So like, the idea of social media and having to dedicate time to it is horrifying. Red barrel. <laughs> Red barrel. <laughs> So, <coughs> this has been my reality today, is like sitting down and making lists of like, here's what I offer the world that's unique. That kind of thing. And basically, the only conclusion that I've come to is this is going to be a lot of work and this is not why I write. <laughs> I gotta record myself playing video games because I do like going back and watching my reactions when something funny happens or like when there's like something cool like you find something cool in a game. I like going back and being able to see what my reaction was. Like The, um, the day that they patched pets being able to walk in and out of the house on good weather, on good weather days, um, that is a video that Ben and I have both gone back and watched my reaction because I was so shocked by it. Like, that's so nice. But I don't do it because I think that I'm going to, like, I don't do it because I think I'm going to be a YouTuber and I want to make this, like, a, an actual thing. It's literally just for fun and because I love the games that I play and I know other people love this game and a lot of streamers have stopped playing it because there was a lot of noise about all the bugs and how it's not a completed game and that kind of thing so like a lot of streamers stopped playing it and I wanted to see more content on it and I was like eh, I mean like I don't know <clears throat> it seemed like an opportunity but a magic lamp or not Oh shit. But we did it. Museum is at rank C. Um, wherever that was going, it was a meandering path. Um, this is so bright. I'm just gonna have to be blue. Uh, it's just so bright. Let me stir the soup.
so yeah like <clears throat> i do this because i like it not because i think it's gonna be some make it big scenario writing however i have an actual talent for that this is just like a i play video games in my free time kind of thing um writing is like a i have actual goals and talent um and i want to treat it as such <laughs> <coughs> that i'm trying not to be insulted by the e you're a fish um what an odd thing to say. Can you fish right here? No. Okay. I was like, there's no way there's not enough space there. Um yeah writing is a thing that i have actual goals with and so it's like <sighs> i don't know you know it's just it's different for hit to drop. Me. Oh, what if I don't want to swap? chest full of stuff like that when it becomes time um it does kind of suck that i didn't do the enchantment i still took my items <laughs> um i don't know it's been a long day a really long day this is in my workshop again Obviously, that's why I'm doing this entire rant right now. Woe is me, right? But, I mean, if you're also not a social media person, you get it. You know? I'm not a social media person. And it's just kind of a living nightmare to me that my success in a lifelong dream depends on being liked by people on social media. So, I don't know. <laughs> Red barrel. What were we working on? I truly don't think we had an objective. I think that we were vibing.
What? Let's try to get our town rank up. Let's just go diving. And just farm for stuff. Okay, well, we finished. <clears throat> our second glass of water, which means we get to have our little sparkling prebiotic soda thingy. Which is very funny. These have gotten to be like a little afternoon treat for me because I'll do like a glass of apple juice at breakfast. Um, and then I'll drink water throughout the day. I'll drink, you know, a few of those throughout the day. And then... When I finish work, I like doing a little... A fun little pick-me-up. And it's really funny that... I'm like, it's a reward because they're, <laughs> they're those poppy prebiotic sodas, right? They're literally 25 calories and they barely have any sugar in them. It's not really a pick-me-up. It's more of like <laughs> a health food. But they're good. I like them better than just normal sparkling waters. I think they have more flavor. So excited we're making chisnechka um which i've probably mentioned it before but it is a big um like pub dish in the czech republic so when i lived in prague both times it was one of my favorite things to get when i went out for like lunch by myself or whatever during the middle of the day when i was working or when i was in school and what it is, is it's, like, Chesmechka literally means, um, garlic soup. And that's what it is. It's got a bunch of garlic in it, and potatoes, and you put a little cheese in it when it finishes, like, when you serve it. You put some, like, mild cheese in it, and then you put croutons on top, and then you eat it. And it's delicious. We put minced garlic in it, and then we put a few cloves of, um, and I say we, me, I cook. I'm the one who cooks. Um, then I put, um, <clears throat> which way did it come from? It's fine, I'll go this way. Um, whole roasted cloves of garlic in it as well. Does it like deepen the flavor? And then instead of doing bacon fat in the bottom of it, because I didn't really want to make bacon, um, I did a roasted garlic butter to sweat down the onions and garlic. This smells very good. It also does smell like it could be a lot of garlic, but take it up with the checks. You know? It's delicious.
do still just like the fact that there's no music down here when you're doing this. <coughs> hey, big boy. really truly just need to be better about eating lunch. So I kind of feel like crap right now. There's something I can do about it at the moment. We still have so much time to keep doing this. <laughs> and notice we're picking up multiple, like multiples. So every time we're pulling up a chest, like, like every other time we're pulling up a chest, we're getting more than one chest, coffer. I. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember to say coffer. I've been thinking about that romance, every romanceable character challenge. The more I really want to do it. Should be so much fun. Be a lot of hard work though. A lot of gifting people and things like that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on. 
There are multiple ways you can go through there. Multiple doors open. I saw this one open though, so we're gonna try it. I can hear that I'm about to have to stir the soup, but I think I can make it to the end of this day. There were not 14 chips left. There's just like a whole bunch of broken chips at the bottom. So I didn't even get to eat a full serving of chips. I'm fine. We're about to have soup. And it's gonna be delicious. Low stamina. I haven't seen that in a while. Wow, we made it to the front. <laughs> Look, you can go all directions. This feels really wild, but we're gonna have to stop that cave journey right there. I didn't mean to jump over that fence. Ooh. Another one. like an underwhelming number of things, isn't it? <laughs> you can't talk to your dog at night anymore. Mr. The Soup. <coughs> 30,000. Wow. Goat cheese is significantly more. Also truffle oil, worth a lot. Okay, let me throw the soup. We got so much money.
is done, so I'm gonna get a bowl.
a lot of money. Look how much money we have. What do you do with it? You know? Like, genuinely, what do you do with it? I can unplug that. You know what? I bet that's what was causing the lag earlier. My keyboard was still plugged in. Jesus Christ. Keyboard was still plugged in. And it was probably flip flopping. No, that wasn't it. I was trying to be, I was, I was gonna really gonna try to be nice and be like, and it's not the game. It's the game. <laughs> Unfortunately. I wonder why it's doing it first thing in the morning too. You know? Because it didn't bother us the entire rest of the day yesterday. It was just first thing in the morning. It's a little wild. And there are fewer crops in that area than normal, so it's less visually demanding now than it, than it was. <coughs> Sorry. See what I mean? Cute game. I'm gonna eat this crouton before it gets soggy. I wonder if the butter brown too much or something while the onions were cooking. Click over. Don't have to close out. Check that out. Bad rancher. <laughs> Keep forgetting to let the babies out. You're so cute. Can you imagine how fun it's going to be when we get an ostrich in the mix? Like, come on. Wow, okay, that's... Wow. I didn't think about how this was going to look eating this on stream knowing there was cheese.
Should we keep one of those? Because we're not losing to Bobby ever again. Hmm. We do have a duck mayonnaise version. Okay. I'm not tasting the bitterness quite as much anymore. effects are a little messed up. This might be multiple trips. barrel. We've got to go get geodes. Let me move my mic a little bit. I'm actually kind of upset with how little variety there is in here. Like, we genuinely have stuff to give the museum. You know? Ah, there we go. Like, we got a museum to fill, baby. We gotta be finding new stuff. Has this always been gold? Or is it just the light? Ha! Yeah, it's a... It is a light. really upsetting actually mm, keep that
suppose I could be speaking to Pablo, but... There's nowhere we can go with Pablo without giving him a locket. A flashback. Seems bossy. Are they related? Their faces look really similar. you do you're so handy Hate to break it to you, dear, but that is also a trauma response. <laughs>
Forty-five points. I should empty out my inventory. Now I'll come right back. Damn. What do I do? <laughs> That's a bit of a tragedy. Just try to remember it more. I will do my best to remember that. She said, knowing damn well that's going to stay in that chest for the next forever. very cold. One second. I need just a little bit more broth to finish the croutons.
I literally just got a little bit more broth because <laughs> I forgot to eat croutons. I only ate a couple of them. And I had them portioned out and everything. Some days it just feels like there's not as many of these. Let's go to the fire cavern. The red barrels of fire gem, I think, according to the museum. I think we saw that in the museum. That it's under the like fire fire gem, whatever. Where do we go? I'm on 15. She's a one hit wonder. I forgot that got buried. Have we even gotten many geos? I've seen one. my hands since I cut the end of the suit, so I don't know what the deal is. We've gotten one geode out of the entire room. If it's not a red barrel, we riot.
I also need to be fishing. I need to get a shrimp. For sure. I've also got to get that, um, warm weather fish. Fire geode. Why are geodes so hard to come by? It's actually really frustrating. Geodes total. That's not even a little bullshit, that's just a lot of bullshit. Okay, geodes have to go to the boys. So that's stop one. That's get that gets sold. See, it's number gradient within the number, and then you proceed. It's Macy's birthday. I'm sure Macy would be really pissed off if I turned up at her house too. Give her a gift at 11 o'clock. Nothing says I forgot your birthday like, oh my god, it's 11.45 the night before. Like, right before. Oh. Take this plate to the kitchen.
I heard Ben they're doing something. I was like, what's he doing? He's unpacking his new laptop. This should be tomorrow. Yeah. How much money did he make? With a full mailbox? Not that much. I did look in the Discord. Um, this bug where you can hear the rain inside, um, just like you can outside. Like it used to be muffled. It was like normal, like the way you would hear rain in your house. But um, now it just sounds like the normal outside rain effect when it's raining or storming. Um, I did see that was. Um, It was reported as a bug in the Discord already, so. I just did the same bug thing and submitted my specs for it. Because <laughs> they don't like when you do duplicates, but they do like to get all the data they can. So if you're playing, Denda would love to get um, your bug report on the Discord. Also, I have no idea why I don't use my scythe to uh, harvest crops. It's been brought up in the comments before. It's like a thing I know I can do, but because it's not the routine, I don't think about it. <laughs> Which I suppose can make me look kind of silly sometimes, I guess. But we all are silly sometimes, aren't we? Open yet? You're gonna leave me here in the rain? Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Please let me in. Oh. There we go. Hello. You wish what? You believe in talking hammers. You made a talking hammer. Okay. 
Red barrel. Red barrel. Red barrel. Damn it. <laughs> I saw red and I got really excited. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I heard him huff. I hit the desk and he didn't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, big boy. He ate dinner early. So he ate breakfast early this morning. He didn't eat dinner last night. And then he ate his bowl before his walk this morning, which is unusual. The routine is usually like, I wake up and I start working. He stays in bed because he doesn't like to get up as early as I do. Yes, I mean the dog. Um, he doesn't like to get up as early as I do. So he'll lay there for a bit. And... Then we take our long walk, our morning long walk. We do two long walks a day. And as many just normal potty breaks as he needs. Um, and then we come inside and do breakfast, which is green beans and kibble. And he just like ate what he didn't eat last night, first thing this morning before his walk. So his routine's been a little off today. So I just gave him his dinner because he ate a lot earlier. And so now he's having his post-dinner nap. And I've interrupted that. I don't know if you can... You can't see. <laughs> it does not look like that's a comfortable way to lay his head is like hidden behind the blanket right there but he's like smooshed around all the blankets on the couch so he can use the blankets as a pillow despite the fact that we keep these two pillows here because he's very much a pillow guy that's how i found him um he found a pillow under the dumpster at our well, apartment complex and um there we go and so i went to take my trash out the trash wasn't even full um but i cooked with broccoli the night before and you know how broccoli can just kind of stink when you leave it in the trash i was like ah, i don't want it to get stinky in here i'll just go ahead and take the trash out and the trash bag was mostly empty and i went outside the dumpster and there he was he like walked around the back i threw my trash away threw it in the trash compact and then he came back around and was like hello and rolled over for belly rubs <laughs> he'd been laying on top of this pillow beneath the stairs the trash compactor and he rolled over for belly rubs like hi and um that's when i saw the whole neck situation it was it was pretty bad he was in really rough shape but you know, he's a lot better now. And he's rather spoiled, obviously. I mean, he gets two clean pillows and blankets. And this morning, when we got out of the bed, he got from the middle of the bed, he kind of went, and push himself into my spot and then stuck his head on my pillow laying out there like a human being with a paycheck not a worry in the world as I'm clocking in at 6.30 I don't clock in I'm salaried but you know what I mean I was like, wow. I don't know that I've ever been that worry-free in my entire life. <laughs> and you know what? He deserves it.
brain just did a weird jump. <clears throat> it's like talking about William's backstory and waking up to work and he's sleeping in and he get in my spot. He's very cute. But then my brain jumped to maybe I should read to my Myers Briggs. Maybe my personality has changed. <laughs> Explain to me how those two thoughts are connected. It's a trick question. They're not. That's just the way that my brain operates. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. So... I almost got more geodes out of that one little space than I did the entire time I was in the mine yesterday. Outside whistling. Like bird call whistling. See, we did get more in that one little spot that we did yesterday. Red barrel. Red barrel. Fuck. Why do I even try? Because I need the altar. I need the altar. We should fish for the rest of the day. We should do that. There's one more at least. If we could if we could finish an altar, that would be really nice. Then altar would give us a lot more points. But we have to fish for two of like two of the altars. You know? I go steam is to go to. Okay, so where do we fish? We need a shrimp, which comes from the lake. But what's the summer fish that we're looking for? As you can get um 
I think we can get the shrimp out of the ponds right here, actually. Do, 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 do. Trash on my farm. Shrimp. Whoa. Should I get a couple just in case we mess up the recipe? Because we're gonna be guessing. We know that we need wheat flour because that's how you make other pasta dishes. It's probably gonna be one of those like any vegetable will do kind of dishes. It's a rare recipe, right? So we know we need the pasta. We know we need the shrimp because the shrimp is in the picture. It's probably going to be any vegetable. Don't a lot of the rare recipes have four ingredients? I don't know. Let's just try with the shrimp and the pasta and the vegetable and we'll move on from there. So I'm trying to think of like, when I make pad thai, what do I use? You lime, but we don't have lime in this game. Which I guess it means you could do lemon. So that might be the fourth ingredient, if rare dishes usually have four. And I don't know that because, like, I bought a couple of those. <laughs> the apple pie and... Which other one did I buy? Sarabi. <laughs> I bought those. Or, like, I won the apple pie and the sarabi is at the... Is it fish and sips? So it's not like it's not a fucking catfish. Fuck okay, it, we'll try. Do we try with the lemon or no? Cause lime is an incredibly important part of frying pan out of make your stir frying. Um, okay, so let's go wheat flour because I feel like the more ingredients, the better the the better the recipe, or the more complicated the recipe. And this is in the like complex recipe box, you know. <coughs> okay. 
cabbage. That feels like a good pad thai ingredient. I don't know, I feel like I'm really talking myself into maybe we need lemon in there because when I make pad thai, I, there's always a lot of lime juice in the sauce. Is that traditional or am I just making pad thai wrong? I feel like every time I've ever had pad thai, it's had some kind of citrus in it. If it's wrong, we fish again. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> it worked. I can't believe it worked. I can't believe that worked. That was a total guess. Damn. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Is it like some kind of tea? I've never even heard of it. So that one I might actually look up. I'm gonna do that because I have no idea what it is. Got it. <laughs> Got shrimp. I pulled up on the wiki because I was checking where you fish for it. Um. I've never heard of this. Rice flour, syrup, and any coconut. In a ceramic bowl. I, I would never know how to make that. I would literally never know how to make that. Rice flour. We don't need that. It's just taking up space. We've got five wheat right there. The duplicates are killing me. Okay, we're gonna make a rice flour. Bloop. To Raphael, he likes seafood, right? What was that rice flour syrup and what else? Any coconut in a ceramic bowl. Um, I know we don't. Okay, we've got six coconuts, so all we gotta do is wait for the rice flour. We could probably do that tonight. I don't know how fast the mill works. Okay, maybe in the morning. It's not that fast. <laughs> Uh, 
any coconut. Rice flour. I wonder what that is. Is it like a is it like a pudding type thing? Is it like a is it meant to be like a tapioca kind of thing? I need something to drink. One beverage for each hand, a water and a sparkling water. <laughs> She's got a lot of kids. <laughs> oh my god, they look just alike. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The king of fart. That's really funny. <laughs> uh, Frank, <laughs> you have something on your back. <laughs> That's what siblings are for. I remember middle school when like anytime somebody would clap you on the back, you have to like check, <laughs> you know? I don't miss that. At all. The mortifying ordeal of being young. Hello. I just texted you. Oh, he got it. He just doesn't check him. <laughs>
he had an early dinner and he's been taking a nap. <laughs> oh, I made chesnechka. It's a Czech garlic soup of potatoes. Completely unbothered. It's done. A coconut. So we can do that one right now. Doing okay, big boy. She's asleep on the bed, I think. Ben's sister is here, and they're about to go to volleyball, so it's a little loud. She's not dead. All right, that'll be right. A syrup, like a maple syrup. Is that right? And any coconut? That was not right. Rice flour, syrup, and any coconut. What does that mean? Why does it say syrup and not maple syrup? Well, that did not go right. Well, how are you supposed to know how to make that? That's bullshit. That's bu so you have to put, you have to put cane sugar in a cheese press to get syrup. How are you supposed to know how to do that? That's so stupid. It's the first time I've genuinely been mad about something. <laughs> how are you supposed to know how to do that? It's ridiculous. Let me just put this in the cheese press. Hold on. Put this in the fucking cheese press. So 
ridiculous. I'm like genuinely upset about it. It's so stupid. I don't I don't know why I'm so upset that I am. That it does not make any and a cheese press. It's not my job to argue. It's my job to have fun. But that did just keep me from having fun. <laughs> And I didn't make any money today. I'm kidding. You remember back before we used to make 10,000 gold easily in a day? That's aggressive. You remember that? What a time that was. Hey, let's... Look at that. Look how easy that is. Wow. You're telling me I could have been that much faster all this time? And because it wasn't a part of my concrete process already, I completely ignored it. <laughs> No new friends and no new information. It's not allowed. I should have brought this drone. They're getting him riled up back there. I don't know if you can hear it. I probably shouldn't stand here and wait for this, but I'm just like, it's so close. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to go ahead and make some more syrup so we don't have to do that again. Yo. Put a little boogie in it. Thought he was gonna make a dad joke and he didn't. I was kinda disappointed that he didn't. That was a perfect opportunity. I kind of love that. I love that being there. It's too bad though that there's not enough space in that enclosure to put one. Cause I love that right there. And I just don't know that I'm willing to move it.
I don't know what they're doing to him, but they're having fun. strawberries that I keep. Osmium? Okay, we're gonna go get... <clears throat> Look at him! Wiggling around down there. Okay, let's go make this stuff and finish that altar. See if that increases our town rank. <sighs> what are we doing? Ceramic bowl. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's it for that altar. How about that? <laughs> How about that? I want that so bad. <laughs> wow, I can't believe all of those are done. We really got to step up to that. Koi, remind me. Where is that? I'm gonna go to the wiki. I'm pretty sure that that's the one you can you can get those in the cavern entrance. I think you can get them in the lake and the river in town. Yes. <laughs> oh, that feels very good. We unlocked the llama and a luwak. New furniture, new clothes. Unlocked llama, unlocked the luwak. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. But it's a fun word. confused, but he's got the spirit. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Okay, this lag is scaring me. You know what? It's Saturday. The, um, we can't do this fossil because the lab is closed. Why don't we just fish? Try to get a koi. May as well, right? 
spring and summer, morning and afternoon. Trash. Oh, it's copper. I'm actually less mad about that. It's potatoes, bone broth, garlic, onion, and salt. That's that's it. Nice. Yeah. The onions were swept down in some garlic butter, but that's Ooh. that's it. Holy moly. Yeah, it's super simple, but Did you it's it good. Improv? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of the things we learned how to make in my uh, cooking class when I was studying. Class? Yeah, we did that. We learned how to make dumplings mm -hmm. and we made goulash. Mm -hmm. The goulash took a really long time and it was really hard because you, you have to caramelize the onions, but mm -hmm. really, really good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this was definitely the easier thing. <laughs> Hey, Benny. Can you do me a favor? Can you look up on the tea shelf for me? Okay. I don't know. Where is he? <laughs> He's tired. I need you to look up on the tea shelf. I just need you to do me a favor. <laughs> In the back of the silverware drawer. Yeah, it was behind the organizer. Yeah, I guess somebody may have been helping put stuff up one time, either my mom or, or yours, and the tea diffuser wound up back there. We both missed it. I don't, I don't know. We lost the tea diffuser the other day when I was trying to make tea. And it was like a big deal. I found it. I put it back up in the cabinet. He hasn't noticed it yet.
had some apple today. <laughs> I said bye, dear, and I'm gonna give you a kiss, and then you walked away. Oh, <laughs> you're just standing there. Just <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't even hear you say bye. <laughs> Love you too, dear. Bye. bye. That's so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt that there was laughing directed at me, and it really was. Apparently, I went back there because they were like, "Ugh," which means Will was doing something cute, and he was. And so I went back there to check, and then I like walked away, and Katie laughed. Apparently, Ben had said bye, and he was standing there like waiting for a kiss goodbye. He was just standing there because I walked away and didn't hear him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. I, I can't give this to the altar. We have to replicate it. That's the only one left for fresh water. Okay, the rare fish are all like storm fish. These are all things you have to catch in storms, I think. That's another rain snowstorm. That's a rain snowstorm. This one you can catch in summer. This one's only fall and winter. A gator gar. We have those in Alabama. They're mean. An alligator gar. They're really mean. River forest. Spring only. Morning, afternoon, rainstorm. Spring is almost over. I mean, it's going to take us a long time to catch all of those, but still, I can't believe there's only one season. Giant sea bass. It's only fall day one through seven. Morning and night. Any weather, rarity, legendary. Are you kidding me? There's only seven days out of the entire calendar you can catch that. The yellow moray eel is spring days 15 through 28 and summer days 15 through 28. You can only catch it at night. I mean, damn. T-U-F-F -F tough, am I right? What movie is that from? Just go do some fishing at the beach. And we'll hopefully catch something. I cannot believe we caught that koi. That was incredible. <laughs> I feel like it happened so fast, too. Wow. Yeah, having a better fishing pole really changes the fishing game.
he's mad because they left. Barracuda? Really? There's only like three of these left, something like that. Been eating a couple of these every night. These are it's like one of my favorite candies. The Haribo Bala Sticks. I used to keep them in my backpack. I was living in Prague. You can get them from World Market here. Can't believe we have a koi. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, octopi do scare me. They are much too intelligent to be comfortable around. And that's not to say that, like, other creatures shouldn't be intelligent. I mean, that's life, right? That's just how life evolves. But the fact that at aquariums, they regularly escape their they regularly escape their enclosures, go and eat fish out of another tank, and then come back and replace their lids because they like it better in the tank. That's terrifying. Oh, we're just gonna play it out. <laughs> like that's truly just horrifying. Or like the octopi that, that just, like they, they play pranks. Mm. Like it's documented that octopi will play pranks on like staff at aquariums or vets who work really closely with them. Or like biologists who study them. Ooh. 
Whatever this is, this is serious business. I caught one, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I literally just caught one. Oh my God, what do I do? We only have one of those fish replication things. What do I do? What do I do? Do I keep it? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I can't believe we just caught that. After saying there's no way we catch one of these. But we may as well because we're in the right day. You shut the fuck up. Night. Rarity. Legendary. Spring nights 15 through 28. Summer nights 15 through 28. We just caught that. Are you kidding me? Okay, so the giant sea bass is fall days one through seven. We're going to have to remember that. Location, ocean, forest. What the fuck does that mean? Forest. There's no ocean in the forest. What does that mean? Ocean dot. Okay, so that means you have to be on the docks. This says ocean forest. What does that mean? The forest is up here. There's no access to the ocean. There's no beach over there. This is the ocean. I don't understand. We're just gonna keep fishing. I can't believe we caught that. <laughs> That's wild. I was like, this doesn't feel like a normal fish. And it was the damn thing we literally just said there's no way we would catch. That's trash. That was insane. Got a koi and a yellow moray eel in one day. So all we're going to catch is trash for the next in-game week. <laughs> Every single time we get one of those, it messes it up. 
I kind of want to get rid of that boost. Is this another one? If we can get two right now, I'm going to cry. This is another one. This is it. This is one of my favorite days ever. <laughs> That's a ruby red dragon hat. Dragon A? I don't actually know. Last one. It is truly one of the wildest things that has ever happened in this game to me. Catching those two really rare things in one day. I think Koi is just rare, but... The Moray Eel is definitely legendary. A bird feeder. Where's the... There it is. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that happened. Oh my god. Barracuda. has been donated, so. <clears throat> That's so cool. We don't have to worry about that one anymore. <laughs> I love that. We're going to go check out all the new stuff. We have plenty of money for the llama and the Lubak when we expand both the barn and the uh, coop now. Didn't make a whole lot of money, but you know what we did do? A lot of other stuff. <laughs> oh, it did it normally today. Yo, I can't believe that happened. Down rank B? Banana fritters. Banana fritters. That sounds really good, actually. In high school, a large um, population of students. Um, I went to a magnet school. And a large population of our students were international. And I remember one of my absolute favorite things was always like when people got to bring in food for clubs or things like that because when their family would make whatever was like a normal potluck dish from their culture and it was always really yummy <laughs> and 
one of my favorite things that any of my friends families ever made was um fried plantains the jambas used to make the most awesome fried plantains and oh i guess they were outside yesterday for some reason i i don't know what i was thinking um <clears throat> and they were delicious I heard that was the first time I ever had plantains. It's really good. But I've always loved that. It was also how I found out I was allergic to shellfish. Because the reason we had such a large international community in my high school um, was because of the Hyundai plant in town. And it would bring in a lot of people from overseas who would come in and, you know, come in and work or manage different parts of the plant for a while and then fly back home but they would bring their they'd stay long enough to bring their families and i'm talking they'd stay for like 10 years at the time and um a lot of those kids got to come to magnet schools because it was the most comparable education in alabama to what they would get at home and um So a lot of our students were Asian and they use a lot of shrimp paste. 200 days? <gasps> Sweeties. 200 days. Well, I bought them a year apart. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, that's how I learned I was allergic to shellfish. <laughs> and that's how I learned that shrimp paste is used in a lot of Asian food, which is why I now have to be really careful about when I go out to eat. One of my absolute favorite things in the world is Asian food. I love it and I can't have it very often. I will die. <laughs> I'm not gonna have it if it's allergy friendly, but you gotta find a place that's allergy friendly. And oftentimes, a lot of the allergy friendly places aren't super authentic. And so you get kind of stuck in that trap of like, you gotta pick your poison. Death or inauthentic food. I often have to go for inauthentic food. <laughs> Though sometimes I'll just take a Benadryl and not eat a lot of it and it'll be fine. <laughs> but it's only going to take one single time for me to be wrong about how much I can tolerate with that method, you know? Like, it's only gonna take one single fuck up.
I want to see it. <laughs> that happened quick. That's so cool. We're doing it. So excited. I can't believe we hit rank B today. But you know what? I said let's try for it and we did it. There's no one here. It's Sunday. Of course there's no one here. Usually it's a good place to talk to at least a couple of people. Just attention seeking over this whole rank B thing. We sure are, Erica. <laughs> You're so right. I am. I've basically been doing it. Does he not like it? Okay, he likes it. Okay, we don't have any hates yet. So, I've heard if you give them something they hate, it it will like tick the stars down. That's one of my biggest fears. So I'm always really hesitant. You know? Oh, it scares me a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna freak somebody out real quick. Sean just logged on to play in Shrouded. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I love when well, I see people get on to Steam. Um, this is like one of my favorite things to. So, uh, how's the grind? I'm just like freaking out. <laughs> It's very early access. I asked if in Shroud it was as cool as everyone says. This is very early access. That's fair. I've got mixed feelings about it, he says. That'll do. Another plant. Can't resist. The building is nice compared to Valheim. It's fair. Ooh, a lamp. Ooh.
A bean bag. Bunk beds. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the treasure chest looks like a mimic. It uh, looks like an eye and then teeth. Six and a half out of ten. I kind of like that. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. I guess we'll keep up with that. Okay, let's look at outdoor decor. Whoa. <laughs> this is like getting really close to Nintendo styles, huh? We've already seen the winter stuff. That's cute. Where is that? Stop. I like those things. Where is that? Do you see it on here? Right there. Oh my god, it's cute. I love that too. You see how cute that is? Do those have to go outside? Let's look at the new clothes, unless they're closed today. <laughs> oh, goody. What am I doing?
Ten bucks says he wants to get back with Suki. And she does reject him. You shut the fuck up. You get a llama outfit too! <gasps> That's pretty. I don't like that. 20,000? We buy. We're big balling, baby. Okay, so I said I wanted a chicken suit at first. I kind of want the duck suit instead now. I think both of these wedding dresses are absolutely abhorrent. I think they're both really awful. <laughs> what is money made for, if not to spend? Yeah, no. Ooh. That's actually cute. We buy. I liked that too. We buy. Did I buy that? I don't think I bought that, but I like it. That's horrible. <laughs> Take that shit off her right now. I don't like that one better. Why does that look so different than that? I don't know. There's just a very... It's just very lacking in contrast, I think. <sighs> mm. yeah, maybe. Oh, no. Okay, we buy. No. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really hate those. I think they could be cute with the right top. I still like those. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh my god, they're bunny slippers. Which colors do I want? I only have one space available. Okay. You have hair with that one. The back here has bald as fuck, but she got sideburns. <laughs> Do I have that? This is cute. Okay. 
We're officially out of inventory space. <laughs> We're running around town holding compost in a swimsuit. With a ukulele on our back. We're gonna have to... <laughs> We're gonna have to do some inventory management here. Okay. <laughs> Moo to you too, baby. <laughs> okay, hold on. We gotta... <laughs> hold on. We can't put anything in our inventory in the house or we can't decorate with it. So, wardrobe storage. Beep, 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 beep. We just spent so much money. <laughs> we just spent so much money. <laughs> I actually really like that as an outfit. I actually really do. I like that as an outfit too. I really like that tank top with the longer skirts. I think that's really cute. But I also think it's cute with the crop sweatshirt. Or I guess the white sweatshirt. Yeah, I, I like that that one's textured, but it's not quite the right fit. Like, that's cute. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> like, that's cute. You know? I do really think that's pretty. White Balinese Kabaya. Like, I, I think that's really pretty. I don't know that I'll ever wear it, but I, I do think it's really pretty. That's even cute with jeans. It's even cute with black jeans. <laughs> I even, like, I just really do like that outfit. I don't know what it is about. Just like the simple shorts. I I don't have the farmer backpack, by the way. The harvest backpack. I just kind of love the look of that. I think we're gonna go with this because it's supposed to be it's gonna be summer tomorrow oh you 
have to put it outside. Damn. No, oh, that's lame. Do like a cozy little seating space. So then I can put a little bookshelf right there so something takes up that wall. There you go. It's starting to fill out. It's starting to fill out. It's starting to look good. That's so freaking cute. You shut up. You shut up. Those are so cute. I love the colors. It's bright, it's fun, it's in your face in a good way. It's so cute. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out, we're gonna have to get our, our lawn. Bad decision making is in progress. Questionable decisions are being made here. Give that to somebody, I just don't know who. I need to go this way because I haven't been over there to cut hardwood.
feel like I'm doing a little bit of long distance babysitting right now. We get chain. I don't want to have to be doing any kind of babysitting. This feeling. He better be texting me back though. I took that out of the machine, I guess.
It's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I don't understand why that's under farming and not ranching, though. I still don't get that. Ooh, that's significantly more. That might be my last day. Well, I, that, that one is my last day for this recording. I was right three hours. That's normal. It's just I'm probably about to have to pick up the phone and call my dad. He works from home and he's not good at like getting himself out of the house and making friends and stuff. Because I mean, it, it is harder when you're older. But no, he's like, I've got the hankering to take a week off and run away. I'm like, no, that's not how adults handle these things you don't run away you plan a vacation let's rephrase <laughs> so i'm trying to figure out if i should be alarmed or not Well, I'm gonna deal with that. Okie dokie. Bye!